really weird. Oh, nice. Oh. It's pretty ridiculous. It's, it's just a spear, you know? <laughs> Not to mention they're in a, like, compromised position. And goodbye, host. Hello. L2. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a madman. Oh, there's the blue. What? <laughs> Nice. Oh, there's a host. There's a host and an invader. Oh, sheesh. Look, they're matching. Oh, boy. Nice. Bonk. Oh, oh. Oh, backhand blade. Cool. Ooh. Ow, nice. Yeah, that's a little early for that. Hmm. Let me heal up. Oh. Bonk. Uh, okay. Definitely a little laggy. Bonk. <laughs> oh, God. Backhand blades. Bonk. Oh, there we go. Catching up a bit. Bonk. Hello? Yep, there we go. Nice try, guys. Oh, sheesh. Hello, gamers. What up? Okay, let's see if we can block that. Oh, Anzabah. Oh, God. Ah, big damage. Ooh. Ooh. Nice block. Oh, God. L2. <laughs> Anzabah. Uh, pancaking Anzabah's funny. Oh. Oh! Oh! R2! Oh, God! Sheesh! Okay. R2. Nice. You still can't block 100% holy damage. I believe. Oh! Bonk! Hello? Healing. Won't let you heal, though. Oh, good attack. What? No! Bonk! Hmm. R2! Oh! Bonk! Nice! <laughs> I just got him. Oh, wait, no. It's the uh, crucible thing. Oh, I also have a crucible weapon. Bonk! Bonk! I, I can't tell what they're doing. Oh, sheesh. I knew it was charging, though. Okay. Okay, mage. Oh! Bonk! Nice. Oh, fireball. Okay. Uh-oh. Getting behind. Some rocks? This might hurt. Woo! Bonk! Bonk! Ooh. Close. L2. Woo! Whoop. Jump. R2. Nice. I want to pop that bubble, though. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, I missed! Hmm. Bonk! Oh, come on. Healing? Ooh, rock. R2. Ooh. Uh, alright. Oh, there's a hunter now. Rough. Whoa. Hello. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Bonk. Darn it. Blue's here. Oh, sheesh. No more fun. It's time for them to become a gang squad. <laughs> Healing. Aw, dragon? Afraid of dragon? Let's go, blue. Let's game. Bonk! Oh. Bonk? Oh, God. That's a lot of magic. 
Oh, there we go. Healing? Ooh. Oh god. That's definitely definitely pretty annoying. Magic spam! Bonk! Oh! Explosion! Ah, darn it. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa. 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 Okay, turning around, not trying to get hit by a dragon. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Bonk! Oh, man! Alright, well, that was fun. GG's. At least you guys started to really, really play aggressive at the end there. That was good. They didn't try to hide around a grace or anything. Good players. Good players. I got a damage boost. Oh, boy. I see a lot happening over there. Jump. Okay, physic. Oh, that dude has big hammers. He has two of my hammers. Woo! I should do more. Oh, wait, no. They're not two of my hammers. They're different hammers. Oh, oh God. Woo! Boom. Oh. Jump. All right. Jump. Jump. I don't want to get caught. Let go. Oh. Oh, sheesh. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, hammer. Follow up. Nice. There we go. Running R2 and 2 and R1. <laughs> you know the bonker couldn't help himself and he just had to bonk back. What up? Oh, we got three players. Okay. Hello? Oh, jeez. Oh, L2! Nice! Hello, giant bear! Goodbye, giant bear. <laughs> Perfect. What up, guys? This is the build I was using in this video. I'm using Devonia's Hammer. I really enjoy using this weapon. I always mention it whenever I use this, use this weapon. It is a very satisfying bonk. Uh, so Colossals are a little bit faster now, which is nice. However, um, this is <laughs> this is likely... Oh, hey. This is likely one of the slower Colossals. But that running R2 is still super nice. Um, you can basically trade anything with this. So, I believe in the patch, they buffed the Vortex. And at first, I tried using the Vortex with the Shard of Alexander. Um, however, you can still kind of get hit out of it. So, it's more important to have bull, uh, the Bull Goat's Talisman. You want to make sure you do not get hit out of it. I also have the Two-Handed Sword Talisman here for damage, and then the Crusade Insignia, just in case. Really, really just wanted as much bonk damage as I could get. Uh, included with the Leta's armor, which also buffs my running attack bonks. Running R1's good. Running R2's good. Most of these attacks are going to be good for trading. It is still kind of a pain to take out somebody who's like at one, you know, they're at like 100 health or something, and you just need to hit them once with the hammer. If they choose to just not hit you or just play as passively as possible, uh, this game doesn't really give you a lot of outs for that as far as Colossals goes. Uh, I mean, the rolling attack's pretty cool. You can catch them off guard with that. Um, but yeah, outside of switching to a different weapon to just, like, roll catch them, you still need to be very careful with your swings. You don't want to do too many swings and not have enough stamina to dodge out of the way. Uh, because that will happen if you're trying to roll catch them. You will be trying to roll catch them with so many swings, you might lose all your stamina and they get blended. So you just got to be careful with that, for sure. Um... But Colossals are still in a really good spot. It's just, yeah, I don't know. This, the, the way the passive nature works in this game, as far as, like, somebody just rolling away, you, <laughs> this is, like, the strongest thing in the game here is just continuously rolling, and Colossals have a hard time dealing with that. There's so many times where I just want to switch to the Golden Halberd and just, you know, roll catch them. 
Uh, but either way, I still enjoy using this weapon, so I will find a way to make it work, you know. Bonk. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I like using Crusade Insignia. Sometimes I think it's super fun to use, because you just get attack power for when the host defeats an enemy. So it's like, why not? It's kind of weird, but also kind of fun. Oh yeah, I fire prelate uh, stuff here just for a little bit of extra poise because I definitely need it. Leta's armor kind of doesn't have like the best poise. Uh, and neither does like the winged serpent helm, which I'm literally just wearing for fashion. <laughs> the fashion on this is okay, you know, it's, it's not great. But Leta's armor just looks so cool. And then Devonia's hammer. If you consider Devonia's hammer part of the fashion, like that looks cool. Th from this angle, this looks cool. But once you see like I have like three different shades of, ar of armor, it's not, you know, it doesn't look great. But it's fine. <laughs> but okay, that is the build. Thanks for watching.